If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So you can go and make your own design, we'll guide you through this, and then you can go and put it on sale as well, or just wear it yourself. So to get started, what you need to do is go to the top and open up a new tab. And you need to go and type in Roblox shirt template, like so. Now, what we can do is come down to the Roblox Creator Hub, and we can then go and come down here and go and find the template, as you can see. We want to go and get the shirt one, so we'll go and click on it like so, and it'll then go and download. Click on it, and we can then go and see the shirts here. Click hold, and you can just drag it onto your downloads to go and extract it, and there it is. Now, what we need to do is come to a site called Photo P, all one word like so. This is an online photo editor and graphic design tool, essentially. Press open from computer, press downloads to the left, and you want to go and find the shirt, click on it and press open. You can go and look at the template. So Roblox will go and fold up these faces to go and create a shirt for your avatar, and you can go and see where they're going to go and align to. Come over to the left to the toolbar and select the rectangle select tool. Now you want to go and start cutting this out. So click, hold and drag, and we're gonna go and start here. Then with it selected, you can go and release. And you want to go and press the delete key on your keyboard, like so. And we're going to go and repeat that until we go and have it cut out. Now we'll come down to arm and we'll do both. Press Control and D to then go and deselect. So we've now gone and cut this out. Now what we can do is go and get started with this shirt. So what I like to do is I like to go and get some textures. So what we can do is go and search for a site called Pixabay. There are different sites out there as well. And once you're here, you can go and type in texture like so. Now you can scroll through here and go and see loads of different options. I really like the look of something like this. So what I'm going to do is go and click on it. We can go to the top right here and press download, choose the size and press download and go and wait. Of course, you can go and browse through others as well. Now, what you can do is come back to Pixabay and you want to go to the top and press open and press open in place. We can then come to our downloads and select what we downloaded and press open and there it is. And then what you can do is go and use the side and corner points to go and resize it. We can press the tick at the top and then you can go and drag it below the background like so. There it is. So of course you can go and have different ones for the right and left arm as well. Of course you could go and select this for example. I'll press OK and I'll press delete again and we could then go and delete it if you wish. I don't want to though. I want to go and have it all the same. Now, of course, you can start adding text, grab the text tool. You could go and add in different logos and loads of different things. You just press open and place and you can go and select images you want to go and add in. What I like to do though is go and add some shading. So what I'm going to do is come here and type in Roblox shirt shading like so. And then we can come to images and we'll go and see these different examples here. So let's go and say you like this one here. You can go and click on it. Then what we need to do is we need to go and right click on this and we need to go and press save image as and we can press save. And then you can come back to photo pre, press open and place, go and select it and press open and there it is. And then what you can do is go and resize it so it goes and fits. I do find that a little bit intense. So what you can do is have it selected and you can go and choose how you want to go and layer it. You could go and have lighten, for example. You can also just go and decrease your opacity as well to go and make it more transparent. Also, I'll just go and select the texture again. You can then come to the bottom and we can go and use adjustment layers and you can then go and choose like brightness and contrast and you can go and make it brighter and go and adjust it to your liking. So you can keep on working on this, adding in different layers, different textures. And when you're ready to go and get it on Roblox, press file in the top left and press export as or hover over it. And you can then go and select PNG like so. And we can go and press save and it'll go and download. And then what you want to do is come to Roblox and press create at the top. Go to the left and press creations and you can press avatar items at the top. Come down and press classics and you can go and select classic shirts and you want to go and press upload asset and press upload here. And then what we can do is come to our downloads and go and find the shirt. We just went and downloaded this one here and go and press open and there it is. And then what you can do is go and give this a name, give it a description as well and you can upload it. It will cost you 10 Robux. So that's fine with me. I'll go and pay for it. Now we can press avatar items, come back to classics and classic shirts, and it should go and be here. As you can see, it'll take a bit of time to load and there it is. Then what you can do is you can go and click on it like so. If you want to put it on sale, you can switch it on and you can go and set a price and you can press publish item if you want to, but you don't have to though. You could just keep it for yourself. If you want to go and wear it yourself, go to the top and press the three lines and you can go down and go and press avatar. And then you should go and find the shirt. So I'll unselect the current one and I'll then go and select this one and you can go and see I'll be wearing it. There it is. It's that simple. 